All right, so tonight's session, we're going to be discussing primary, secondary, and tertiary prevention. And my name is Dr. Karen Danvers Perez. I'm an advanced nurse practitioner. All righty, so what is prevention of care? Prevention in healthcare is a proactive approach aimed at reducing the risk of disease, detecting disease early, and managing chronic diseases effectively. Like primary prevention, which prevents the onset of disease, secondary prevention, which is early detection and intervention, and tertiary prevention, which is managing established diseases to prevent further complications. So let's look at them in depth individually. So for primary, primary prevention strategies are proactive approach and is measured to avoid the development of diseases. So these include like vaccinations, like flu vaccines, um, pneumonia that's vaccines. The, I'm sorry? No, that's for the primary prevention. For the primary prevention. Right. And in addition to that, Healthy lifestyle choices like reducing the fat intake, reducing the sugar intake, those are preventative measures, especially for someone who do not have, say that um, like African-Americans are at risk for, especially male, cardiovascular diseases, right? Yes. And so if you start telling them because this person is an African-American plus a male, they don't have the disease yet, but you want to prevent it. So you're telling them, lower your cholesterol level or the foods, the fatty food that you're taking so that they don't end up having high cholesterol and so forth. So diet or lifestyle changes, increase in exercise, the changes in diet, all of these are preventative or primary preventive me measures. Right. All right. So, so for secondary prevention, Secondary prevention focuses on identifying disease, the diseases in the early stages when treatment is more effective. So as a nurse, you want to make sure that you understand your role of screening and how these strategies of screening can save lives. Examples of screening um, are like your mammogram, blood pressure check. So here's the thing. The reason why it is secondary Screening doesn't treat the, the disease. Screening only detect it early so that early treatment can um, be implemented. So as we know that blood pressure is a silent, silent killer. And a lot of times you have patients who do not, uh, they may not feel anything as if their blood pressure is high. Hi. So, uh, check if they do the annual once a year or whenever see, they see their doctor, their blood pressure has been taken to so screening or there could be health fears or in the community uh, so the, a, a healthcare facility is putting on a health, a health care facility or organization is putting on a health fear. Then you have screening that takes place. Regular health examination and preventative screening, early intervention treatment, such as like, for example, if a, uh, this person is found to have high cholesterol, they can intervene, um, you know, fast. And the focus is to identify and manage the disease early to, to improve the outcome. You have tertiary. Now, this focus is on managing chronic diseases to prevent further complication of deterioration. So this person has a stroke, as mentioned in the first slide. All right. So the person's been treated for the stroke so that it doesn't get worse. So, for example, rehabilitation program for cardiac rehab. A lot of times you'll see a patient who, if they go to the hospital for a stroke, they will do a stent do what they got to do in the hospital, but then they will release the person to a long-term care facility or, or a skilled nursing facility for rehab where they can get um, 
physical and occupational therapy while getting a high level of nursing care going on. So in that, while they're rehabilitating, you're preventing any further diseases uh, as much as possible from occurring. Chronic disease management, such as di um, diabetes education. So remember I told you early on in the primary, so you may be educating someone with, about diet and exercise, but the objective of that primary is different to prevent the disease from occurring. But in this case, when you're telling someone who already is diagnosed with diabetes about diet and exercise, the objective for this is different because then this person already have the disease. So right. when you move on to diabetes education, this is tertiary. Support groups for chronic illness patients. So for tertiary, the focus um, is to enhance quality of life and reduce disease to the disease-related complications. All right? Let me ask you. You have two patients. They're both African-Americans. They're both African-Americans, male, right? And what, so we know the fact that they are African-American males is that they're at higher risk for blood pressure. So knowing that a person based on genetics, race, and all of that are at risk for high blood pressure, for primary, you're going to educating them on lifestyle like exercise and diet and reducing fatty intake, not because they have the disease, but to prevent the disease from occurring, right? It's still education. They don't have the disease. You, you want to prevent it from happening, so you're teaching about lifestyle changes like diet and exercise. The next meal, or meal number two, you're going to teach about lifestyle modification, diet and exercises, including diet and exercise, right? But the difference between, the difference with um, meal number two is that he has a chronic disease. Okay. which could be cardiac problem and all of that. And because you want to prevent the disease from getting worse, you are going to teach him to reduce the amount of fat that he takes in, to exercise more, um, to modify his lifestyle. So you are talking about will male, with male number one, you're talking about lifestyle modification, but not, not because he has a disease, it's because you want to prevent it from occurring. While male number two has a disease and you want to prevent the disease from getting worse. All right? So for tertiary, the focus is enhancing quality of life and reducing disease-related complications. So just to recap, I have like a few questions in this to ask. So primary prevention deals with health promotion and disease prevention, okay? Secondary prevention, early detection and promote intervention. Tertiary prevention, managing and rehabilitating after disease onset. So each of these levels plays a crucial role in public health and patient care. So it is a nurse's responsibility to follow up on vaccinations. It's a nurse's responsibility to educate the patients, whether they have uh, a disease process going on or not. So because with, as I mentioned, with guy number one, you want to prevent the disease, so you're going to educate him. Right? Right. So uh, the nurse plays a crucial role when we talk about the levels of care or the um, prevention levels of care. So I have some questions here for you. Okay. A nurse is educating a community group about primary prevention strategies. Which of the following would be included? Blood pressure screening, smoking cessation programs, cardiac rehabilitation and diabetes management class. Yeah. So remember this, 
it says primary prevention first I, I don't know if you're from prevent Jamaica. disease yeah it's so, so, so remember yeah. this in Jamaica they say prevention is better than cure I don't know if you've ever heard that one before you know? yes 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 prevention is better than cure so prevention means stop the disease before yeah. it happens right when you do a blood pressure screening, screening doesn't stop diseases. No. It's okay? So screening is identifying the disease early for an early intervention. So, intervention. Mm -hmm. So A will actually come underneath secondary. Right. Smoking cessation program. And you did say, but I see you skip around it. That, um, is prim that is primary because here's what happened. Yeah. Smoking um can cause, you know, so many disease, cancer for lungs, C P D and everything. So stop smoking. By stopping smoking, then this can prevent those disease from occurring. So that's smoking cessation. So I know you may say, well, it could be that they have the disease. And yes, that's what I was them. looking at. Yeah, it could be that you, they have the disease and you want them to stop smoking, right? right? Which will come into terror share. But let's look at the others. Look at cardiac rehab. Cardiac rehab, this person is going to a rehabilitation pro. Anything with rehab? Terror sherry, yeah. Terror sherry, all right? Mm -hmm. Diabetes management class. That means this person already has the disease. They are already, because this is diabetes management. So it's not that they're doing lifestyle changes. And so this is diabetes no. management. So they already have the disease. So that is actually tertiary. So this question reads, which of the following is an example of secondary prevention? Immunizations, annual mammograms, physical therapy, diet counseling for obesity management. Beam on mammograms. Mammograms, yeah, because it is screening. Right. So let me ask you, what is A? Immunize it, that's primary. Primary, that's good. And we said B is secondary. What is physical therapy? Physical therapy is tertiary. Tertiary, that's good. What is diet counseling for obesity management? Um that's that's secondary so the perth remember that secondary is screening so if the person has the disease already it's tertiary it's so in this sense. case diet counsel counseling for obesity management this person has the disease already so it is tertiary so let's look at this question this question reads a nurse is working with a patient who has hypertension, which of the following interventions is an example of tertiary prevention? One, teaching the patient how to monitor their blood pressure at home. Two, educating the patient about heart health diets to prevent hypertension. Three, conducting a community screening to identify individuals with high blood pressure. Four, implement a cardiac rehabilitation program for the patient. Teach the patient about how to monitor their blood pressure at home. Um, screening, monitoring is what? Secondary, yes. So let's look at two. Educating the patient, so let me write, let me write on the screen, screen. So this is um, secondary. Second. Now, educating the patient about heart health diets to prevent hypertension. What is that? So you're preventing. What did you say? Primary. Primary. All right. So conducting community screening to identify individuals with high blood pressure. Secondary, because it has screening, so secondary. All 
all right, implementing a cardiac rehabilitation program. Definitely. Um, okay. It's Terry Sherry. Terry Sherry. Yes. So in, yeah. Uh, implementing a cardiac rehabilitation program for patients. So we see cardiac rehabilitation. So you patient get, program rehab is Terry Sherry. This is Terry Sherry. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So knowing the difference between uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary is yes. very important. It is. Make sure that you can, you understand it, and you know what it is, and you're able to identify. I, I, All right. 